Hello, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you 10 very easy, heatless, back to school hairstyles. And let's just get started. I have the quickest, easiest hair prep for you. Save time in the morning and opt for heatless curls. Not only are these less damaging, but they last longer than curling iron curls. I just quickly brush through them to help loosen them up and I'm ready to go. Now, if you're new to heatless curls, I will link my two rope curl videos below for you. First, we have a simple, half up look. Begin by sectioning off all of the hair above your temples and just smoothing it back with your fingers. This will keep everything soft looking. Next, tightly secure with a small hair elastic and now create a topsy tail. So create a hole with your index finger and thumbs just above your elastic and then flip your ponytail up and pull it through. Or if you have a topsy tail maker, just insert it above your hair elastic, pulling your ponytail through the loop and then pull the topsy tail maker downwards, pulling your ends all the way through. It makes it so simple. Next, pinch and pull on your twists and the hair around your crown to loosen up the look and finish it off with your favorite hair clip. I've been loving these butterfly clips for summer. They're just so beautiful. Next, a fun half up claw clip hairstyle. Begin by gathering all of the hair above your temples, smoothing it back with your fingers and then tightly secure with a hair elastic. And I like to place a clip underneath just to help prevent the two sections from tangling. Now, Create a hole above your hair elastic and you want to push your ponytail under and up, but only partially through to create a small bun. And then place your claw clip right over your hair elastic and pinch and pull on your bun shape to add some volume and on your twists to loosen them up. I love this look. It's such a beautiful and fun way to switch up your hairstyle. Next, a very pretty twisted half up hairstyle. So gather all of the hair above your temples and just clip it up out of the way. Then gather another section an inch or two down from your first one. And once completely sectioned off, secure with a small hair elastic. Now unclip your top section, smoothing it back and secure with a small elastic. Now with your index fingers and thumbs, create a hole just above your top hair elastic, flip your ponytail up and pull it all the way through to make a topsy tail. And then insert your pointer finger and thumb on your left hand up behind your topsy tail, twist it a half twist to the right, grab onto your lower ponytail and pull it up all the way through. And how cool is that? Now pinch and pull on your twist to add some texture and volume. And this hairstyle is so simple yet gorgeous. And best of all, it's very secure. So it'll last you all day long. Next, if you find French braiding difficult, you're going to love this hairstyle. Begin by placing your thumbs in front of your ears and tracing upwards to your crown, completely sectioning it off and clipping it up out of the way. Next, gather all your remaining hair and tightly secure it with an elastic just above your nape. Now unclip your top section and divide it into three equal pieces and begin three strand braiding by crossing your outside sections over your middle sections. Now once you reach your ponytail, stop. I did a total of four passes. Now divide your three sections so two go down the left and one goes down the right of your ponytail and join them underneath securing them together. And of course, pinch and pull on the sides of your braid. This will help it look more full and give it that French braid appearance. How simple and cute. And you can recreate this with any type of braid you like. Next, another faux braided ponytail. You're going to love this one. Begin by securing your hair into a ponytail wherever you want it to sit. And I covered my elastic using this awesome topsy tail trick. I'll link my tutorial below for you. Now for the braid, divide your ponytail equally in half so you have a top and a bottom. Next, secure a small hair elastic on your top ponytail about four to seven fingers down depending on your length and then repeat on your lower ponytail. Now the best part, divide your top ponytail above your elastic down the middle. So you have two halves and then pull your lower ponytail all the way through this hole and then divide this ponytail in half and pull your lower ponytail all the way through and then repeat this until it gets too tight. I did a total of four. And then of course, pinch and pull on the outside of your braid to fan it out. And you'll want to hold on to your elastics while doing this. And this will help create that true pull through look. Okay, how surprisingly simple yet beautiful. This just might be my favorite hairstyle from this video.
Next is a beautiful way to transform your ponytail. Just smooth all of your hair back and gather it into a low ponytail. And you already know, pull out some small pieces to frame your face before securing with a hair elastic. All right, now we're going to create a topsy tail, but on an angle. So use your index finger and thumb to create a hole off center to the right, angling down to the left of the underside of your elastic. Now you want this to be big enough that you can flip your ponytail through, but to make it even easier, you can use a topsy tail maker. So just insert it on the same angle and then pull your ponytail through the loop and then pull your topsy tail all the way through. Now to make the hairstyle pop, hold the base of your ponytail and with the other hand begin pinching and pulling the hair all along the twists and the crown. And there you have it, a simple, beautiful way to transform your everyday ponytail. Okay, who else is loving claw clip hairstyles? For this one, just gather all of your hair into a low ponytail at the nape of your neck. Now, holding it in your left hand, grab from underneath with your right hand, and then begin tightly twisting your ponytail clockwise. And once you feel the base getting tight, bring your ponytail underneath to the left, and this creates a bun shape and then continue tightly twisting it as you bring it to the top of your head. And then secure your twist with your favorite claw clip, and I like to place mine high enough that you can see the ends poking out from the front. Then go ahead, fan out your bun, and loosen up the sides, and you have yourself a simple yet beautiful claw clip hairstyle. Next is a favorite on my channel. It's this viral bun tutorial. Now begin by placing your hair elastic on your right wrist and then gather all of your hair into a low ponytail, pulling out those face framing pieces. Next, divide your ponytail into two, a left and a right, and then tie them together by crossing your right section over your left. And this will create a hole. And then you flip your left section up and pull it all the way through nice and tight, just like the first step of tying a shoe. Now create a second knot again by crossing your right section over your left and then pulling your left through nice and tight. And then flip the bottom knot to the top and hold this against your head. Now if your ends are quite long like mine, then cross your right under to the left side and your left under to the right side. Now if they're still hanging out, just bring them up to the top and tuck them under your bun. Now hold all of your bun tightly against your head with your right hand and slide your elastic over your entire bun and then loop it around one more time. Then pinch and pull on the sides of your knots to fan them out and mess them up a little bit. How simple! You could also add a scrunchie or create this on straighter hair for a more sleek effortless look. Next is a voluminous ponytail hack. Gather all the hair above your temples and for the style you want less hair in the top section than the bottom. Once completely sectioned off, secure it with a small hair elastic. Now with your index fingers and thumbs, create a hole above your elastic and then flip your ponytail up and pull it all the way through to create a topsy tail. I love topsy tails. Now gently pinch and pull the hair around your crown and twist just to add some more volume and texture and then gather all the remaining hair and secure with a hair elastic as close to your top ponytail as you can. Now if it's too low just pull on the sides of your ponytail while pulling upwards to scooch it higher. Then insert your index and ring finger down through your topsy tail and grab onto your ponytail pulling it up all the way through your topsy tail. This is going to give your ponytail so much volume. Next, tighten both your elastics and you can massage some volumizing powder into the base of your top ponytail for even more volume. How beautiful is this style? It just makes your hair look so full and voluminous and it's comfortable enough to wear all day long. Next is the easiest messy bun hairstyle. Now for that pretty swooped look, place your thumbs in front of your ears and trace upwards to the crown of your head and then pull out the small hairs along your hairline to frame your face. Next, scoop up the remaining hair, joining it into the rest. Now, I love to secure my messy buns with teleties. They're so gentle, secure, and they create the perfect effortless look. So secure your hair into a ponytail and on that last loop, pull your hair partially through to create a bun and then just pull on the sides of it to loosen it up, mess it up a little bit. Next, divide your ends into two, a left and a right. And starting with your right section, loosely twist it away from your face and then wrap it up counterclockwise around your bun and underneath your left section. And then hook a piece of your elastic, pulling it down and flip your ends up and pull them all the way through. And feel free to completely tuck your ends away. 
way. Now repeat on the left side, this time wrapping clockwise and tucking those ends away. And there we have it. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely let me know which of these hairstyles was your favorite. Now I will link my previous back to school tutorials below, so definitely check them out and best of luck in this upcoming school year. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.